Hi, Mike Scarborough Parts here. I'm here uh, illustrating the fuel inlet circuit of an Autolite 4300 four barrel carburetor. As you can see, I'm removing the float so that we can get at the uh, two needle and seat assemblies. And you see the fuel inlet there with a big hole where I just put my thumb on. Of course, that's where the fuel goes into it. And, uh, and uh, so there's a bite, your bite and tip needle. Now I'm going to take these two out and it's important uh, to try and get a screwdriver with a wide enough blade uh, to fit as tight as possible so you don't uh, chip the brass and uh, chipping the brass on the outside there won't hurt it any it just it get, gets it where you don't want it so now the one big one I, I don't know uh, you can uh, I used to have a special tool for taking that out I, I didn't for this video but I went and got the widest blade screwdriver I could to get it out so that's the auxiliary that I'm screwing in now a lot of people refer to it as the secondary uh, fuel valve. And what it's for is uh, under uh, heavy fuel demands that the float will open that auxiliary valve and let more fuel in. Now, we always stop that up or put a plug in it because uh, uh, Ford figured out, finally found out that uh, it was putting too much fuel in the carburetor and flooding it out so uh, uh, we now stop it up so that one there was soldered on the other end you can either solder it shut or uh, we do have a plug you can get that uh, put, goes in that hole there and plugs it off that way so where I got the screwdriver now that's your main uh, fuel inlet at this point Okay. So when you uh, remove this and uh, put it back in, make sure that you got your old washer all off. Uh, I've done it myself. Uh, I forgot to take the washer off and end up with two of them, and then it leaks there. Uh, you know, it doesn't happen very often, but you can get a leak around your seat like that if there's something wrong with your uh, washer. So now we're uh, replacing the float back. It's got uh, a hinge pin uh, we have to put in it. They're not they're not easy to get in there, uh, but uh, it, it does go in there. And uh, when you're doing this or when you're adjusting the float, be careful that you don't, uh, do not put any pressure on your needle because that little bite and tip is easily damaged. And if it is damaged, then uh, you're going to get uh, fuel going by it. And uh, you're going to have a very rich condition or, or possible flooding. There you go. Now uh, I'm going to put up a another illustration uh, that shows the circuit in um, kind of a cutaway view that you might find interesting. So hang on. Okay. Well, here's a cutaway view of uh, the fuel inlet system here. This is where the fuel goes in right here. Uh, this is uh, usually a one eighth by that's inside diameter by the way of the uh, fuel filter 1 8 by 27 I'm not sure what the thread size is I, I know it's 27 per inch uh, it could be uh, it seems like it's 3 8 but I, I don't remember for sure anyway fuel travels through this passageway right here and uh, this is your main fuel valve right here. You can see right here is where the bite and tip is. This is it's actually kind of upside down as your needle pushes in here. 
and actually this is right side up, our video was, it was upside down. This is your secondary or auxiliary valve that's uh, plugged up and solder it shut right here, or if you're not all that great at soldering, uh, then uh, get a plug from us for plugging it off. So anyhow, the fuel travels through here, getting any dirt in here at all, uh, this is, uh, it's going to let too much fuel go. And I will mention that here's your uh, vent, vents from the top of the carburetor. I think there's two of these pipes that stick out the top and vents like here. If this was plugged up for any reason, uh, you would get a siphoning of your gas uh, when you turn the engine off. So always be sure there's nothing uh, plugged up there. Okay, so that's the cutaway view. All right, well, uh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, we do appreciate your business.